Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Lair by Lair. In today's Lair by Lair Weekly, we're going to take a look at the Adafruit Cricket for the Raspberry Pi, the Pi Gamer, and a 3D scanner. So let's jump right into it. So first up, we're going to take a look at the Adafruit Cricket for the Raspberry Pi. This is a really great way to attach servos, motors, and get audio sound effects, and even drive NeoPixels all in one board using the Raspberry Pi and the Adafruit Cricket hat. So check it out. This is the learn guide. So it has a lot of demo code if you want to uh, create some simple robotics and even some props and things. Check that out. We've done quite a few different projects with the Circuit Playground version, but this one is for the Raspberry Pi. So we put together the PCB for the Cricut. So this has all of the onboard components. And the first tip that I'd like to share with you guys is take a look at the um, female and male headers here. These were actually generated with Library I.O. It is a website that allows you to generate 3D models um, like this, and it's a great way to kind of quickly um, create some uh, 3D models of different components for PCBs and other projects. Um, so let's take a look at Library I.O. So that is a website. Uh, by Autodesk, and it's uh, an editor here. Take a look at the sidebar here. You can see all the different packages that they have. Um, so the headers are over here, and then you can input how many rows you want, how many columns, dimensions, and that sort of stuff. It's like following a, a data sheet, which is really nice. So if you're looking for a quick way to create these models without having to draw them by hand, you can have this tool generate them for you. I've been using it in a pinch here and there uh, for, uh, for various packages, and it works out pretty well. So check it out. It allows you to download step files, which works well with any of the solid modeling apps. So that is that. And then there are some other components here, um, like the screw block terminals. This is actually something that I drew myself and using some patterns. I was able to repeat them so I can have uh, different, ver uh, different, multiple of them in this uh, kind of configuration. There's a, a handful of other components and bits, but uh, those are the ones that I'd like to talk about the most. So if you're looking to create a, uh, a project using the Adafruit Cricut, we have this available on our GitHub repository, which we have linked down in the description. So what, what you might be asking is, what are you actually using this for? Uh, so we are creating a 3D scanner using the Raspberry Pi. So this is it here. It is a uh, little bit of an assembly here that um, has a turntable and it is um, these bits are mounted to a piece of 2020 aluminum extrusion. We have the Raspberry Pi in the back here with the Adafruit Cricut hat and two laser diodes to, um, to actually scan the object and the Raspberry Pi camera module, uh, which will take pictures. And for additional lighting, if we take the camera cover off, we can see we also have a 12 NeoPixel ring. This will give you external lighting and will give you a pretty good scan, hopefully. Uh, we are still working on the software. This is going to be a collaboration project with Dave Estelles, who is porting uh, the open source 3D scanning software for CircuitPython. So this is going to be a pretty interesting project. If we take a look at the uh, turntable, um, there is a, a platter here that we can take off. And it is being driven directly with a 5 volt stepper motor. We are using a 5 volt variant because the uh, Cricut is a 5 volt um, logic product. And we have some roller ball bearings here that kind of give the platter some support so there's no wobble. And again, everything gets uh, secured to uh, the piece of 2020, which is nice. All right, so if you're looking to get some of the models, uh, this the 5 volt stepper motor is something that I put together. So I have that in our GitHub repository. Um, I also put together the uh, 12 NeoPixel ring PCB there and the laser diodes. So you can grab those. Uh, so some of the parts that, uh, that I found are actually from GrabCAD. Let's take a look at the Raspberry Pi camera module first. This one is a really nice drawing. So this one has uh, the components and the, the camera connector, which is very detailed and looks awesome. And on the front here, you can see it actually has uh, the camera casing and even the little ribbon piece here. This is really, really detailed, almost too detailed. If we head over to the website, I'll show you the, um, the GrabCAD page for it. So this is by a Raphael and uh, this, this is really nice. So you can grab this in different uh, formats. He's got some really nice renders of it here. And he even modeled, if I could find it, he also modeled like the CMOS sensor, which is bananas. It's like, 
it's like a bunch of pins. Oh, I must have missed it, but it, it's very detailed and very excellent. So definitely toss Raphael a thumbs up and take a look at some of his other boards. It looks like he's made the Power Boost and some Spark Fun, uh, the battery babysitter, which is great. So awesome. So uh, shout out to Raphael for that. And that is uh, a available to download model. I grabbed it as a step file and it came in just nicely. Okay, another one I'd like to take a look at is the Raspberry Pi 3. So this one is a fairly good detailed model. It's not too terribly detailed if you take a look at it here. It has all the things that you kind of need uh, and some extra goodies. So you have your USB ports, um, HDMI, micro USB, uh, audio jack, and even uh, the, the connectors like for the display and the camera module and the extra bits like this heat sinks, uh, which are on top of those two chips there. You also have the two by 20 configuration uh, header, the male header there. And on the bottom here, we even have the spot for, uh, I think that's the GPU and the micro SD card and micro SD card slot. So very nice model here. Uh, this was found on GrabCAD as well. And this was put together by GrabCAD user Thinkster. So check it out. I think he has two variants of it here, one with and one without this, the heat sinks. So you can download those as a step file. So shout out to those. You can download those in the description. I have those links there. So that's going to, oh, we have the last part. So moving on, we are now going to take a look at the Adafruit Pi Gamer. So check this out. This was released last week and everybody bought one. So thank you guys for buying them. Please though, sign up if you didn't get your hands on one, if you're really looking to get into game development. This is definitely the easiest and funnest way to get into date game development. So check out the Adafruit Pi Gamer. Uh, we have the link in the description to the product page. And so we went ahead and put together the 3D model of the Pi Gamer PCB itself. On the front, we have a really nice two axis um, joystick. It's the kind of PSP thumbstick variant. We still have that lovely 1.8 inch TFT display, five NeoPixel start, select A and B buttons. On the front here, we also have the light sensor so we can control uh, different variants of the game. On and off switch, and the reset button has been um, turned into a surface-mounted side button, which I, which we're, we're, feels really nice when you're uh, when you're resetting the beat lo the bootloader. We also have an SD card slot for external uh, storage, which is really nice for uh, storing all your games and image assets. And we have a stereo headphone jack on the back there, which is uh, a really nice add-on. We also uh, add on the speaker. It's kind of uh, built in the back there for the speaker. So we have that right on there. Uh, however, we don't have the battery because there are different sizes of batteries that you can choose from. So that's why we uh, uh, we uh, don't have that in this model. We have the surface mounted feather headers, which will allow you to connect any of the feather wings, which is always a great thing. Accelerometer and all the chips for that are there along with the, uh, the uh, internal flash to uh, eight megabyte internal flash, which is nice. And that's just about everything. So uh, you can download this model now. We also have it in our GitHub repository. And we are putting together a 3D printed enclosure for it, of course, using our snap fit features. Um, shout out to last week's uh, layer by layer mini series. If you missed that, we have links in the description as well for those. Uh, it's a three part video series on how to create an enclosure uh, specifically for the Adafruit Pi badge. And this is for the Adafruit game. It's basically the same process, just a little bit different here. Instead of those buttons, we have that joystick there. And we also have this lovely bezel that clamps right onto the uh, the, uh, the screen itself to keep it in place there. Um, but other, other than that, it, it f follows the exact same um, kind of steps for putting together a snap fit enclosure. So check those out. So let's do a quick recap. So we have the... Adafruit Cricket Raspberry Pi hat is great for anyone who wants to do some simple robotics with the Raspberry Pi. We have the Pi Gamer if you want to do some game development or play some fun games, uh, check out the Pi Gamer. We also have the Pi Gamer uh, Guide if you are one of the lucky few who got your hands on a Pi Gamer and you want some more information. We have a learn guide that has some nice demo code and some games that you can play with uh, using, Adaf uh, using Microsoft's Make Code Arcade. Check out the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, 3 model by Thinkster on GrabCAD and the Raspberry Pi camera module by Raphael on GrabCAD. Those are awesome. Also, don't forget, if you're looking to make some really cool um, generated models for your PCBs, check out Library.io. 
And last but not least, we have our repository on GitHub that has all of our CAD files. So check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget we do a, a live stream every Wednesday at 11 a.m. It's called 3D Hangouts. Playlist is linked in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week. But until then, remember to make a great day. Bye, folks.